Man, this song was all over the radio when when it came out in February 1978, two months before my 18th birthday. It was all over the radio. It played like, I mean, once an hour, once every half hour. It was crazy. And it was great because I was in my Camaro all the time. So I just rolled down the windows, crank it, and cruise down whatever Baker Street I was on in North Texas at the time. In America, this stayed at number two for six weeks, and it was kept out of number one by Andy Gibbs' Shadow Dancing, which is a poppy tune. Nothing against that. I'll, it's, a, it's a cool song, but man, Baker Street is so much better. Being a young American, I thought everybody who spoke English in a song was from America, so I thought uh, Jerry Rafferty was American, and I thought, and his, his music sounds so much to me like Al Stewart. I was huge into Al Stewart. I thought Al Stewart was American too. Turns out both these boys are Scottish lads. Yeah, so I'm doing them justice now. You know, I started doing my research. We didn't have internet back then. Hey, when I was a young kid, I thought the Beatles and the Stones were American also. So <laughs> excuse me, everybody. That's just the way it was back then. So America-centric, yeah, okay. So, but anyway, Baker Street is a really cool song, man. I mean, it's it's got such a great sound. It's hard to quantify or qualify, I guess, Jerry Rafferty's music. I mean, I guess it's folk, but it has such a jazzy compliment to it. Uh, it has sort of an upbeat sound, even almost bluesy. So it's one reason why I tend to like his music even more than I do folk music, because it's just got a great groove to it. Uh, Baker Street itself is kind of, is one of those songs that you feel like when you're listening to it and the lyrics, it's going to, it's, it, this guy's in a funk and, you know, maybe he's not going to get out of his funk. And, uh, but he does, you know, there's a blue sky ending on this that I love, but the writing is Jerry Rafferty, great lyricism. Widing your way down on Baker Street, light in your head and dead on your feet. Oh man, was I ever like that when I was 18 to 20 years old? Well, another crazy day, you'll drink the night away and forget about everything. The city desert makes you feel so cold. It's got so many people, but it's got no soul. And it's taken you so long to find out you were wrong when you thought you had, you had thought it held everything. And yeah, there it is. But it's got that lovely ending on it. There's, there's a story behind this lovely ending. I won't get into it. But anyway, but you, but you know he'll always keep moving. You know he's never going to stop moving because he's rolling. He's a rolling stone. And when you wake up, it's a new morning. The sun is shining. It's a new morning. And you're going. You're going home. Yeah, that's a nice ending, right? Anyway, but it's got so many. It's, it's a famous song for good reason. It's the musicality. His just extraordinary voice. And, of course, the sax solo in this, which was done by Raphael Ravenscroft. It's uh, Rafferty's tune. Even though Ravenscroft said it was his, it wasn't. It was Rafferty's melody that Ravenscroft does great justice to, and it's stupendous. But anyway, let's jump into this and listen to this gorgeous song. Okay, here we go. Jerry Rafferty. I've never seen this video. Go. Wow. There we go. Wow. Is that pool? Winding your way down a big street. Sounds a little bit like John Lennon. Lighting your head and dead on your feet well enough. What a groove. Damn. This city desert makes you feel so cold. It's got so many people, but it's got no soul. And it's taking you so long to find out you were wrong when you thought it held everything. You used to think that it was so easy. You used to say that it was so easy. But you're trying. Trying 
plaintive sound in his voice. Straight into the sax. Oh man. There's just so much on this. That guy, he has got such a cool voice. He's got that, he's got, like I said, he's got a little bit of that sort of Lennon, John Lennon uh, feel to his voice. It's not as, it's not as, it doesn't have as thick a rasp to it. And he's got a little bit more of that sort of back throat nasal going on, which is really nice and smooth. I just love the groove on his voice. It's so easy. He doesn't push his voice, you know? I love Lennon's voice. Lennon's voice was my favorite in the Beatles. So um, if I'm saying that it's, it's smoother, that's not a dig on Lennon. I love the roughness of Lennon's voice. So, but he just got it so smooth. It's so cool. And just, it's so mellifluous. It just carries you along. This song is, has an ingenious orchestration on it. I mean, that alto sax, the bongos, you got good, strong drum work on this. That, that rock riff on it. I mean, you're not, you're not really, in, I wasn't expecting that the first time I heard it. I thought the sax was going to fill the holes, you know, but that when that rock bridge comes in there, and it's a, it's a late bridge. It it just blows you away. Then it goes right into the sax. It's got the it, it you've got the easiness of his voice, and then you've got sort of a call and response. The response is the strong sax, the strong riff there on the guitar, and it turns this into some sort of almost semi jazz rock folk country almost song i mean his voice is kind of country in a way you know i think that's one reason why i thought he was american that in baker street we got baker streets all over the place in this country uh not that they don't elsewhere but you know it just but uh yeah it's just it's just such a rich gorgeous perfect song there's nothing i would change on this song 
And the electric piano, I forgot to mention that. Man, I mean, it starts out with that, comes in occasionally, backgrounds it. I mean, it's just, it's phenomenally musically written. Yeah. And then the lyrics are terrific as well. It tells a great story about uh, drifter youth, you know? I mean, I was there, you know, for about four years, 18 to 22, and then back to college, being a good boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, man, this is genius. So I'm going to do right down the line, uh, either next or soon also. That's another one from the City to City album from February of 78. Anyway, y'all let me know what you, what you think about this. It's, it's simply gorgeous uh, yeah, on my part. I, I just love it. Okay, catch you soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye now. <laughs>